This is the Battalion 2000, General Manuel Noriega's Panama Defense Force. His PDF rules, and the people of Panama want change. Is 1989. It is the typical story of a military leader with too much power and is not about to lose any of it. These are the images the world saw through the television. I remember a buddy and I were alerted and sent to Fort Bragg, North Carolina. We didn't know what was happening. Just like the old army saying, we were the first to go and the last to know. Anticipation and excitement swirled within me. I didn't know what I was feeling. This is Green Ramp, the final staging area for paratroopers before boarding the aircraft. I had been there many times before on training missions with the 82nd. I knew this was serious when ammunition was being issued. My buddy and I realized something crazy was going on in here. As cameramen, we were issued old 45 caliber pistols. But most army units used a new pistol with a 9mm round. So here we are, going to war with loaded cameras and empty guns. The voice you hear is radio communication between units right before it all started. Fuck me, Get you ready, boys. Relax. We're not going to make that water tower, guys. Relax. Hitting golf helmet. Hitting golf helmet. Hitting golf helmet. This is a pilot. Real bike. Shit. Let's go. All hell breaks loose. We didn't know who was shooting at who. There's a Spectre gunship above, blasting PDF strongholds. The sound of 50 caliber machine guns roar all night. We use night vision cameras. Blackhawk helicopter approaches with a howitzer. It gets fired at. It returns fire. guys open up on it. This guy dies later on that night.
His buddy died with a bottle of whiskey next to him. It feels like the whole city's burning. Noriega's headquarters is surrounded by a poor neighborhood, mostly old wooden buildings. Fire destroyed everything. Morning has broken, and so is the PDF at Fighting Force. It's incredible how we keep going, the adrenaline pumping. All our training is second nature. These Marines are after PDF soldiers who ran into this house. I got it, I got it, I got you covered. Come on. There's that are shattering us back in. Hold on, hold on, Twister, hold on. Snipers are everywhere. You can't tell who's a PDF soldier. Most of them changed into civilian clothes. Next to Noriega's PDF headquarters is a tall apartment complex. Snipers up there are shooting at anybody. Give me that log. Where is it? Perry, give me that log. These guys are with the 7th Infantry Division out of Fort Ord, California. Using light anti-tank weapons, or laws, they get the sniper. the PDF main headquarters. The stench of the dead turns my stomach. It makes my eyes water. I can feel the wickedness of this place in the air. Murals like this are everywhere. serve Noriega, my threats to their loved ones and families.
Others like the dominance they have over others. The majority of the Panamanian people do not trust these guys. A woman in the crowd is yelling, What are you thugs gonna do now? You're not so big now, are you? Find out is uh, basically a one one get a guy here who's like a key communicator. Get him on the microphone to make other appeals. Like, hey, we're, we've been taken care of. The gringos have done what they have promised in their surrender appeals. What I want to try to do is find someone who's like this hide and seek game. He hides in the papal nuncia, the Vatican embassy. Right over here is the uh, parking lot, adjacent right across is the Vatican. You see the two men standing up inside the parking, the open bay there? Directly right across is supposed to be Noriega's room. That is where Noriega is staying, right there. Get this rally from the Panamanian people. Finally, he gives up. It's crowded on the aircraft, and everyone not involved in the arrest must get out of the shot. See, he's a criminal arrested by DEA agents, not a prisoner of war captured by U.S. soldiers. Noriega lost everything, his cash and his voodoo charms.